finally we can have an episode without Matthias interrupting beautiful video content. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's do this. Hi and welcome back to the channel. Great to see all your smiling faces again for another episode of reviewing your underwater films. And you thought you were gonna review the next one without me. <laughs> Not gonna happen, I made it just in time. And today we have an underwater film made by Marcus Kaiser. From a, Zurich. From Zurich, way! Um, so we'll be watching one of his videos that he submitted for the series um, and before we get into the video Just a quick uh, a quick hint there. The video itself is uh, more than 30 minutes long. So we've decided um, For the reasons that we want to keep these videos rather short and not drag them out too long We've decided to not watch the entire video, but we'll be watching um, little segments of one or two minutes um, in different parts of the entire video and we'll be commenting and uh, reviewing those little segments If you then later on want to watch the entire video of Marcus, you can do that uh, through the link in the video description below All right. All right. Let's get started. Let's get started Okay, Marcus has uh, chosen the very natural approach of not using any music, at least not here at the beginning. That's interesting. No, oh, he doesn't want to take a look. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this is going to be a uh, a one take video. Seems like it. No cuts, no transitions, nothing so far. Shall we fast forward a little bit? Yeah, I think we can jump a little bit. So we're 1 minute 40 in and there's not much really happening here yet. Let's go to... Oh my God. Let's go here to 6 minutes. Nice coral blocks. Oh, oh, that was our first transition that we saw. Where's the turtle? That's a different dive buddy, right? Yeah. Somebody else before. Yeah. Oh, no, it isn't. Let's see that there. But so. there's the turtle. Hmm. What's your buoyancy? What's your buoyancy? <laughs> yeah. 
don't just concentrate on the filming. Fast forward a little bit again. This was another minute and a half that we've watched. Let's go a little about oh, somewhere here. And then I think it's the same body. Yeah, it's the same man. Okay, we'll go a little further. Let's go somewhere towards the end. Watch a segment there. Oops. Let's do this. I wonder if Marcus was just filming the entire dive and if this is just... Yeah, but half an hour? Maybe it's... Well, he cut a little bits and pieces out here and, and there. Oh, there's there. another cut. cut. Who knows, maybe the guide ran out of air. They had to return quicker. Yeah, new body. This looks like they're towards the end of the dive, right? Coming up shallower again. Safety stop and then... And yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the video. All right, Marcus, thank you very much for submitting your video to the series here and letting us review it within this series. Um, honestly speaking, I'm a little, I don't really know what to say in regards to the structure of the video. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to let you go first. <laughs> okay. Um, well, at first I thought it's going to be a, like a dive side walkthrough, but then there wouldn't be any cuts, but there, there were cuts like we saw the stingray, um, at the end at the beginning where there's well some cuts and, um, from from that side, it's it's not a complete dive side walkthrough. I would say, okay, now we can work with that and say that there are improvements because, like, there, I think there are segments which have actually actually uh, good footage in it, mm. which is I think it's it's uh, might be an action cam like a GoPro or something like that, yeah. and um, this camera has produced decent footage, but it's the kind of way how you present it and how you um, yeah how you put it together. So yeah, um, yeah I agree. Yeah, yeah. it it looked like. Whatever you film throughout, I don't know, that one dive probably, uh, you just cut out sort of the, the most necessary 
pieces and just left everything else together and just uploaded it. Um, so I'm struggling calling this a underwater film really because honestly speaking it's not, it's just a video of one dive just put online, which is fine. You know, if you want to, if that's what you want to do and you want to just um, have a record of the entire dive, then that's perfectly fine. But it's not really, probably not really a video that many people um, will watch for the entirety of the video, simply because it's 30 minutes, it's just too long. Let's be honest, who has time to watch a, a single video for 30 minutes? That's even like Hollywood blockbusters uh, struggle keeping people engaged for that amount of time. Um, as Sebastian said, I do think that uh, you had some really decent shots in there. Um, what would definitely have helped is if you had cut out the pieces where you uh, shift around the camera, where your guide is in front of you, where you're positioning yourself to take or to frame a shot properly. Cut these parts out. I know it is a lot of work, but it's going to make the video more compact, shorter, more attractive to watch. Um, yeah, so have that done and do a bit of color correcting. It seemed like most of the, all, all of the footage, all of the clips that we saw, they were just coming out of your camera. It didn't seem like there was any color correction or grading done on the uh, videos itself. That would have definitely helped. Yeah, and if you're afraid of like, I mean, color grading, color correction is most of the time something which is like a, a big thing not everybody wants to touch, but they're like, there are the possibilities of like do just a little correction and using, for example, lots for like, I, I'm not sure if it's a GoPro, but for GoPro or uh, uh, Parallels Vakita, something like that, you got, you got options to, to help you and make it yeah. quick. Yeah. Or for example, I don't know, um, with the GoPro app, um, would yeah. be a possibility which makes yeah. it very easy even for for editing you don't have to have like a big uh, editing software or something True. you just use the app on the, on the phone and, yeah. and it helps you uh, to, to make a more engaging video absolutely and absolutely. Um, uh, the the surrounding um, noise uh, or voice um, the the I say the sound recording. <laughs> I was looking for that. So I, I would just like you can you can use the the bubbles and and the, the diving sound, um, but I would like uh, lower the volume yeah. if you want to keep that and, yeah. and put some music um, um, below it, um, just to to carry the yeah, video yeah. and to carry the story. Yeah, just have some ambient music, some some you know chilled out, easygoing ambient music, and then just uh, Sebastian said lower down the volume on the bubbles, and then you've got your sound effects already included in your video there right away. Um, so from that perspective, uh, those are the improvements that I can think of or that we can think of. Um, and I think if you try to do that on your next video, it's gonna, it's just gonna be much, much shorter, but you're gonna be focusing on the main parts that you saw throughout the dive and you can cut out all the pieces that naturally are not very interesting for someone who wasn't with you on the dive. Um, and then you can start working on a story because this didn't really have a story. It was probably the entire dive from A to Z. Uh, but once you start actually picking out the pieces that are really good from a video, from a clip, then you can start making a story out of it. So those were probably the tips that I uh, we can give you to help you on your journey as an underwater videographer and help you improve your underwater clips. Um, all in all, the basics are there. Marcus, you just need to refine them, need to yep. work on them and uh, try to make your clips a little shorter. I think that will go a long way uh, in helping you create um, something that we can then call an underwater film that has a topic, has a story um, and uh, will be more engaging to most people watching it. Anything else? No. No. I totally agree. <laughs> the German approach. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much again, Marcus, for submitting this video and letting us review. Hopefully, uh, you were able to get some information from us and we were, we were able to give you some information on how you can improve your underwater filmmaking skills. Um, for everyone else, if you have a video you would like us to review, you can send me the link to the video uploaded onto YouTube or any other platform to contact at MatthiasLiebel.com. Um, and if you want to watch Marcus's entire video, it will be linked down in the video description below as well as his channel. So go over there, say hi, leave him a like, leave him a subscribe. Um, and um, yeah, until next time, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel so you're not missing out on the upcoming videos that will be uploaded here. And uh, 
yeah, you can do the ending today. I can. You can. I trust in you. Okay, guys, then thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Happy bubbles. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.